What's up guys, The Rogue Vet, back at you with another video today. So, we're doing things a little bit different today. We're gonna be doing a voiceover, and it's basically gonna be talking about how I was able to, be, to get my dream car. Now, I'm gonna test these out and see how they go. I've always been interested in doing a voiceover for the channel. Um, so, we'll just kind of see how it goes, and if, it, if you like them, cool, I'll keep doing them. I'll try to improve on them as they go, but I really kind of just want to experiment and try to do one of these because I see people do them all the time. We'll dive in, I'll kind of explain, you know, my thoughts and ideas of, you know, how I was able to come up with the idea of getting the, the car that I ended up getting. But stick around, y'all like, comment, subscribe if y'all like it. Let me know. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, guys, so back in college, this was when I was just starting to get into the car scene. and. Just like anything, you know, it, it's real interesting at first and you just go all in with it and it's real nice, but, you know, being a college student has its ups and its downs, you know, with studying and taking, you know, tests and exams and late nights and, you know, difficulty with passing and failing, but anyway, uh, trying to find the car was a bit difficult because, as you know, college students are, you know, broke, or, you know, a lot of them are, and coming up with money was always an issue with you know how to afford a nice car you know but you know you just kind of search around and you know try to figure out what's what's the best bang for the buck basically so you know with being a college student and you know not having much money that's that's the that's the one problem but you know I kind of just would go to car meets with you know a friend or whatever and we just kind of see what everyone has so it got me thinking you know what's what would be the best car to get that's, you know, still cool, but I guess, you know, not too old or, you know, I guess that's not too new to where I couldn't afford it. But, you know, I just had to try to decide what to really, you know, think about and what to go with. Because, I mean, there's so many options. I mean, you know, I mean, you got Ford, Chevy, Dodge, you got, you know, all the imports and stuff like that. So, you know, it's really a lot of choices to choose from and you know you, you know you don't want the best thing for you you know that's going to give you the best you know enjoyment and satisfaction you know from taking it to meets and working on the stuff but you know back when i was a student you know i think it was back in the 20 2012 is when i started so all the way up to 2016 back at the time the 13 and 14 mustang shelby gt 500s had just come out those were pop those are popular as well as the 13 or 14 Mustang 5.0s. You saw a lot of those being driven around. Then right around the corner, you know, the 15 and 16 S550s just came out. You had the brand new Camaros coming out. Those are popular, a little bit cheaper. You had the Challengers that were coming out. Those were really nice, and they had to, you know, remodel, revamped. Then you had the, you know, Chevrolet Corvettes coming out, the C7 generations. You had a couple of imports like the Subarus and, uh, you know, maybe someone would have, you know, a higher STI model or something like that. Then you would also have, you know, your Lancer Evos and those would be pretty, you know, interesting to, you know, have. But, you know, you just had to research and kind of see, you know, what's the best thing for you, you know, given the circumstances, you know, money and time and stuff like that. But, um... You know, you really just have to think about it and see what's what's best for you. Okay, guys. So, you know, after doing a bit of research and sleeping on it and just kind of, you know, see what's the best possible decision for me, I finally went with the infamous 0304 Ford Mustang SVT Cobra. Yes, the Terminator. The one that's very popular. Everybody knows what that is when you say it and when you pull up at a car show or car meet it's one of an iconic car i mean that car i fell in love with i've been already watching you know a couple youtube videos and doing a bunch of stuff for that car i mean you just you already know what it is so all right guys so after finally searching for one for a while i finally found one that was a good deal located in dallas texas um, it was a pretty decent deal. I mean, it wasn't any low mileage or anything, but it was probably about 13.5 off Craigslist. And I mean, it had over 100,000 miles on it. It was in pretty good condition, but you know, I just needed the car. I loved it. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it, and I just had to have the car. Uh, it was just one of those things where, you know, just 
watching YouTube videos and seeing pictures and stuff about it online, you just fall in love with it and you just had to have it. Um, but I knew I would take care of it and, you know, maintain it and make it look even better than, you know, the day that you get it. But as, as I was saying, it was just real exciting. So once getting all the financial responsibilities done, we finally made a time to go ahead and head down there and pick up the car. And boy, was it a anticipating drive. Okay, so pulling up to the car when we finally got there was incredible. I mean, my heart was racing so fast. Finally seeing the car in the street whenever we were pulling up, it was just, it was insane. I mean, I still remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, I was just so excited to see it and sit in it and it, it, it was surreal. Just finally being able to I mean, it was right in front of you, you know, it's just something, you know, that you dreamed of having, you, you know, you thought one day I'd have it, and then finally it's there, but man, I mean, that was, <laughs> it's it's a surreal feeling, y'all, um, but anyway, yeah, so like I said, it was in pretty decent condition, it needed a little bit of, you know, work done to it, as far as, you know, maybe some paint correction and stuff like that, but overall, it was a, it was a, it was a pretty good car. It had, you know, it's little scratches here or there, maybe, you know, a ding or somewhere, you know, on it. But overall, it was a pretty good looking car. Now, it was a 10th anniversary edition year, which means that it was a special edition. It had painted red calipers. It had special edition 10th anniversary wheels and had a couple of interior differences based off uh, the other 0304 Cobras that had the uh, black and gray suede that was there. Uh, the tents had red and black leather, uh, complete leather interior, no suede whatsoever in, in the 10th anniversary cars. But as you can see in these next coming photos here, you can see what I'm talking about with the red and black leather interior and everybody who ever seen this car really thought that this was a great addition to the car they always thought that I had done that like aftermarket and I said no 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 this is all completely factory it's a special edition year so they all come like that now they did have the little door handles inside those were painted as well from the factory which I thought was pretty cool I went ahead and added the uh, LED the red under under like in the footwells area, I thought that was, you know, kind of top off the interior for driving at night and stuff. Thought that was pretty cool. Now this next clip here that y'all will see, it's basically uh, just going around walking, showing the outsides of the, the car in and out. So I'll show you the interior again and you just kind of have a, lot, a little more little live video here showing this one. Um, I did end up switching the 10th anniversary wheels for 03 uh, replica wheels, which were a little bit wider in the back as the 10th anniversaries, I think, couldn't run a 315 size tire on there. So I really wanted to get 315s on the back just because to make, you know, the stance a lot more aggressive and just to have a little bit more meats in the back for grip and that really did offset the car pretty well they made it look real aggressive um but as you can see here in the clips that's kind of what it looks like when you look from the back i mean those those tires are pretty wide they were they were real nice they did hook up pretty well whenever they were uh heated up but overall pretty pretty good and there's another shot there of the interior Again, love the red and black leather. Very nice touch. I went ahead and uh, added a couple of small little things here, there, and there. As you can see in the corner, there's the triple gauge pillar pod that had, you know, the boost and air to fuel on there. But pretty, pretty clean interior from, you know, what I'd see. And they, it was a, uh, trying to remember if it was, what's the brand name? I think it was. Glow shift, I think, was the brand there, and it was cool because you could change the colors on there as you can see it right now being changed. Uh, here's another shot of the engine bay here. All that custom red painted, you know, valve covers and the coil pack covers that uh, I all had that done uh, with the help of my friend who worked at Ford. He helped me paint those, and we had the, you know, expansion tanks 
sent from Lethal Performance, sent to us to kind of, you know, offset the stock ones to make it look a little bit better and, you know, better cooling for more. But yeah, it was pretty, pretty interesting, very cool, you know, setup we had there. I'll try to throw, a, you know, the list of what's been done and maybe in another video or maybe in the description, but it's, it's quite a, quite an extensive list of everything that I did for the car um, overall. But man, this car was, boy, was it a... Was it fun to own? I mean, this car was my baby. It was it was very clean, very nice. Pull lead, air intake. I mean, you name it, I had it. But yeah, guys, this was this was my car. So, well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below, whether you liked it or not. Don't forget to subscribe if you also like the content. I'll be trying to get another one out for y'all in a little bit. Stay tuned. Y'all have a good rest of the day, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.